Hello everyone, it's me Robert. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Today I'm going to talk about the M74 and the M85 gas masks. I will start with a bit of background. I will talk about the evolution of the kits and what's happening today with these gas masks. So the background of the M74, it's a bit interesting, at least for me, because after uh, Ceausescu came into power, the diplomatic relations between Romania and the Soviet Union were not at the peak, let's say. Ceausescu started trading with other countries, mostly with Western countries and with China besides that. When it comes to trading, Romania also traded different designs for the military purpose, let's say. For example, the M74 gas mask. M74 gas mask, it's a licensed copy from the Western Germany's M65 and uh, it was introduced since 1974 replacing the previous MD58 and MD52 copies of the Soviet SHM41 and SHM41M. In my opinion it is a totally different gas mask from what Romanian army used previously and also I think it was a very good improvement from a helmet style gas mask to this. It was, as I said, introduced and manufactured since 1974, at that time at the Chimica factory, which is located in the city of Buzo. Today it is called Rom Carbon. The M74 was issued to everyone in the military branches and it was also issued to the civilians in the same style with very less differences between the military and the civilian kit. Now let's talk a little bit about the mask itself. As you can see, it has rounded triangular lenses, which keeps the lenses in place with crimped rings. The glass used its duplex glass with uh, two layers of glass. One, uh, one of the biggest issue with this type of glass is that if the gas mask is not stored properly and stays too much in the sunlight, first thing that would happen is that the, the two layers of glass will uh, unweld themselves and they will get a little bit brown or red, let's say. Another feature and difference between the M74 and the M65 is that it has a 6-point head harness instead of a 5-point head harness. Uh, besides that, another interesting fact about this gas mask is that they take NATO standard filter, not ghost standard filters. So you can use any NATO filters. The mask uses some plastic in some places, for example the exhale valve which is also the voice diaphragm. It uses very little plastic at the inhale valve. It also uses plastic where you done your straps for your head harness. Besides that, inside we can find the Oreo nasal cup which is identical to the German M65's Oreo nasal cup and also comes with a peripheral seal. That's everything I can say about this gas mask. It doesn't have too many features, it's very basic but it is also very easy to use, maintain. It's true, it's easier to use a helmet style gas mask, you just put it on your head, but this one as well, it's very easy to use. As I said previously about the duplex glass, it also has other downsides. Um, the head harness is pretty hard to adjust. Uh, if I want to put it on my head and adjust it, I would have to use some silicone oil for the straps or I risk to break them. And besides that, the, the rubber that is used, it's, it's of very good quality, but it is very floppy. And I think that's all with the bad things about the mask. The next gas mask uh, is the M74, but with hood. There is not uh, that much difference between these two, except that the hooded M74 was issued only to the CBRN troops and it has improved straps. Uh, it uses uh, fast release straps, which are uh, very easy to adjust compared to the previous M74 straps. Besides that, there is no difference between them. You can see the rubber is different in color, but that's just a manufacturing thing. It doesn't say anything special about the mask if it has a darker or a brighter shade of olive green. Another thing that applies for all of the four gas masks you can see here is the sizing. They also use western style sizing which means size 1 it's the biggest and size 3 is the smallest and size 2 obviously is in the middle, it's the medium size. Next, uh, next one coming uh, on the line is the M85 which is the improved version of the M74 let's say. The main differences are the hydration system 
and the uh, fast release straps besides that there is the same mask there is the same morio nasal cap peripheral seal inhale exhale valve it takes also nato standard filters and the kit it's a little bit different but besides that m85 and m74 are not that different and the last one here is the m85f which is the same with the m85 but f stands for phonic which means it comes with a VPU. The M85F uh, it's extremely rare and it was issued only to officers or higher ranks. I think that's everything you have to know about the Romanian M74 and M85 gas masks. So let's recapitulate a little bit. There is the M74 issued in 1974 to everybody. Uh, also the hooded M74 with improved straps and it was issued only to the CBRN troops. The upgraded version M85 which was issued and manufactured since 1985 and it was issued only to the military and the M85F which was issued also to the military but only to officers and higher ranks because it comes with a VPU. Okay, uh, now let's talk a little bit about the kits themselves. They are not very different uh, when it comes to M74 between civilian and military. The military kit would contain the obviously M74 gas mask, the CF4 CBRN filter, uh, it would come with this decontamination kit, the M75 decontamination kit, instructions and very rarely corrective lenses issued only to soldiers or civilians that would use glasses, but those are like impossible to be found on the flea market or on the Romanian eBay, let's say. Usually people that sell these gas masks in my country told me that they just throw away the corrective lenses. What a shame. Uh, the differences between the M74 civilian and military kits uh, is it's the bag. Uh, both are made of the same material, same color. The only difference is the closing mechanism and that the civilian kit comes, the entire civilian kit comes in a cardboard box. They are stored in cardboard boxes in bunkers and different buildings. Another very, very small difference is between the instructions manual, but it's not even worth talking about it. The hooded M74, there is almost no information about it, about the entire kit, but we assume that it is identical to the normal M74 kit for the military. When it comes to the M85 kit, uh, it comes with a different decontamination kit. This one here, it's the M85 decontamination kit also the filter it's called m85 it's a cbrn rated filter the bag uh, it's different uh, from the m74 one uh, again because of the closing mechanism uh, it's let's say fast release opening mechanism and besides that it comes with a drinking tube which has a bottle adapter and that's everything for it also corrective lenses instruction manual and the M85 kit, it's the same as the M85, but also comes with a different bottle and it comes with a VPU that uses three batteries, two R10 batteries. I think this is everything about the kits. There are no any other accessories. Uh, M74 or M85 never had something like outserts or uh, anti-fogging lenses or uh, anti-fogging uh, pen, you know, that little pen that you use for uh, for your lenses on the inside. Uh, that's because it just doesn't fog up that badly. You can use it in any condition. Now that I talked about the background and uh, the evolution and differences between these gas masks, uh, the last topic that I'll have to talk about is what is happening with these gas masks today. I'll start with the M74. Some say that it is still issued to the entire army. Uh, some say that uh, it is issued only for training purposes. Obviously, they are not issued anymore to the civilians. Uh, people keep finding them in abandoned bunkers and abandoned factories. And M74 is still actually in production, uh, made by the Rome Carbon factory in the city of Buzo. I think they manufacture it for export purposes or to sell them in large quantities. Another improvement that they uh, bring to the M74 nowadays is the bag which uses Velcro, but the material and the color used for it is actually the same with the previous bags. The hooded M74 
Again, nobody knows anything about it. Some say it is still used by the CBRN troops, but uh, currently it's replaced either by the MC90 gas mask or by the Dragger M2000 gas mask, and you can see that in the following pictures. And the M85 is still widespread issued to um, everybody, let's say. You, you can see pictures with them at uh, exercises that took place very recent. And M85F, there's like no pictures with them anywhere on the internet or in any archives. I hope you found out this video interesting. I hope it helped you a little bit uh, if you never had any chance to find uh, information about this, in my opinion, interesting gas masks. And uh, another uh, side note that I have to say, there is another M85 relative that is not present today here, but I hope it will arrive soon from the United States. It's the Iraqi M85, but that is another video that I'll have to make when it arrives at my place. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and see you next time. Bye.